I was gonna say something else, but um, we're just gonna go with what I originally said, which is sup. <laughs> a word that we can use. I'm gonna cut that entire just like one minute of I don't know what the crap I just said out. Right there, just right there. Okay, cool. I see pictures in my head. A world where the sulfur is dead and they can't fight. Hey friends, welcome back to my freaking channel. Probably wondering why the hat and why do you look like Maddie from the 1975? Let me tell you. It's because today's video is how to be the ultimate young blood fan. This was recommended to me by my friend Hannah. And I fully, I fully love that, you know? And it's content. So we love that. So basically, I feel like I'm very out of, like, frame. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna address a few things before we get, like, diving into the video. Did you see that? Diving in. Ooh. First off, you guys probably noticed the very big, you know, like, content difference? Why did I say content difference? I mean like visual difference. I'm not filming on an iPhone anymore. I dug out my camera just for you guys and my tripod. Awesome. Am I right? Cool yeah. So yeah I dug out my camera and my tripod for you. I just moved. This is my new bed. Cool yeah. So um swaggy so now we're going to hop into that video I just mentioned, you know, the one about being the ultimate young blood fan. Now you're probably wondering, Holly, I don't give a single crap about this man whose name is Young Blood. Well, sucks for you because you're the one who clicked on this video and now you're the one who then clicked the crap out. Or if you're actually very interested in this video, grab some chips, grab some popcorn, maybe even grab a nice can of beans to put on your bread. Yes, Dominic Harrison, I know you like canned beans and toast. You're weird. I don't like that. JK, today is all about my Dommy boy. <laughs> and by Dommy boy, I just mean it's, it's Young Blood Day, so his birthday is tomorrow. He just hit one million on Instagram. I'm like, we're gonna celebrate, bros. Okay. I am full of energy today. I don't know why. So the first step to becoming the ultimate Youngblood fan is a little bit of facts. So I know you guys don't want to sit down and listen to me do like a boring ass history story or whatever. So I'm going to make this quick, okay? First of all, Youngblood is Dominic Harrison. Dominic Harrison is Youngblood. Cool, yeah? But Youngblood is only 50% of Dominic Harrison and 50% of the fans. Now you're probably wondering, this is weird, why are you saying that? I'm going to tell you why. Because Youngblood is a creation that we all have to accept and love. Cool, yeah. Next, Adam and Michael, who I like to call Mikey because I think it just works better for him. <laughs> but Michael, are also part of this amazing, you know, just wonderful thing. Uh, Adam's the guitarist and Michael, aka Mikey to me, is a drummer. We love them both. Please give them the respect they deserve. Coolio. Um, that's all I'm going to say because I don't want to really like dive on into all these like super extreme facts and then have everyone click crap out of this video. But if you want more facts, we might do that on like an ask call or something. Oh my god, that was kind of cool. I didn't say ask call, I said ask call, but you know, same, same verbiage. You know, so like, let's get started. Woo! No more boring facts time. And also, yes, I have this wonderful thing um, called a Mr. Boogie Butthole on the back of my case. <laughs> so you're probably wondering, like, where's his music? Well, first of all, it's on Apple and Spotify, like literally every streaming service, aka also SoundCloud. You're probably wondering, like, what does this man sound like? And let me let me tell you. First off, we're gonna go straight to this 21st century liability album, his first album, and we're gonna play my favorite song. It's called Medication. Just 
So Holly's only gonna play like seven seconds because uh, she doesn't want to be copyrighted today. So yeah, um, great song. Ha great song. Great album has twelve songs. Love it. He also just released a new song. Woo! It's called Hope for the Underrated Youth. Please go stream it. Your man needs some coin. If you guys want to find his music, just search Youngblood in the store. Yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously listen to all his music because he's cool. Now you're wondering, like, where may I follow this young blood? Oh, well, great question. I'm plugging his Instagram right now. Instagram, Twitter. I think he has a Facebook. I really don't know, friends. But uh, go follow him because he deserves the love and the support. And so does Adam and so does Mikey. Glue. Cool. Next things next. Yeah. Acquire one photo that you really love of this man. And like... Really just, first of all, don't put gold tape around it, it's just dumb. But um, put it up on your wall or something, or in your dorm. I just want to see the gates of hell and back. It's been in my dorm, it's been on my wall, um, it's a year old. Yeah. I don't know, find a picture you like of him. That was dumb. Next, if you really want to support your boy. You can get an alternative press magazine. Now you're seeing this and thinking, Holly, that's not a magazine. You're right. I'm kind of broke. And by broke, I mean actually broke because I bought tickets to go see him in Boston in October. So you don't have enough money to buy this wonderful magazine. But I printed out a picture of him on the cover of this magazine. By the way, they're having a great flash show right now. If you guys want to go buy that magazine, not spawn, but like, Alternative Press spawn me? Next thing you want to do is get some merch. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing some of it. So, like, it's on my head. Black cards. So you can get a shirt. That's from Loner. You can get the original Amblood shirt. Or, like in this seemingly white hoodie, that's actually 11 minutes merch. And you spend all your money on stuff you don't need. I'm kidding, no. That's supporting the man. It's giving him some coin, which he really needs. So you're probably wondering, Holly, I've listened to you speak for, I don't know. I'm going to say seven minutes because I really don't know. That's hilarious. And you're like, I haven't really gotten this whole, like, what is the ideal way to become, like, the ultimate Youngblood fan? And, like, let me tell you. The ultimate way to become a Youngblood fan is love. And you're like, whoa, like I didn't come here to get all mushy and gushy, right? Well, here's the thing. This, this fandom runs on love, it runs on support, it runs on community. And I'm gonna get, a, I'm gonna get a little emotional here. But like, I'm literally so proud of this. Not, not a piece of paper, but like, Dom, obviously. Cause he's grown so much over the years and like, you know, you, you, can support an artist big or small or like whatever but like obviously watching him grow has been like the coolest thing in the entire universe for me and like being there from like one of the starting steps to like now where he's at like a million followers on instagram and stuff it's cool like you don't see it that often and obviously like i followed like some other artists and bands from like when they were like still kind of new to like big boy status when I, that was weird and I used to like I've connected with some of those bands and like that's cool yo but like Dom has kind of been that person you could always like person yeah he's a person you could always turn to him and be like shit like that's like an idol like that's someone you can look up to he's someone who like literally speaks like such good like messages and truth and He's like amazing and I'm still not over it because he's grown up and feels like he's my son but he's not and I'm also not a mom. Yeah. So I'm proud of him and this is probably going to come out on his birthday which is tomorrow which is really cool. So like happy early b-day Dom or happy birthday or this is, might be weird if it comes out later but birthday. <laughs> but I'm really proud of him and how far he's come and that's literally how to be the ultimate Youngblood fan. Just 
join the community and be loving and be really cool because this this whole fandom and stuff runs on love and being really like supportive and stuff and Dom loves seeing people's work and laughing at memes and obviously like loves support from everybody and obviously like every time he likes one of my tweets I literally go into this really dark hole <laughs> where I'm like does he love me and I'm like nah but like he's cool and like obviously like I'm so proud to be a fan of his and watching like other people be so happy that they're a fan of his and like seeing all the cool artwork that this fandom does like oh my god people are so freaking talented people who sing like jesus this fandom is so freaking talented and i'm just out here just like eh. but like cool but no i'm proud that's how to be the ultimate young one fan this got really sappy and emotional too quickly and yeah but like go stream under the hope Go stream well for the underrated youth on every streaming platform you can and support this boy. This man's right here and give him coin because sometimes I think he wears the same thing as a pair of socks. Literally too much. That's an inside joke and if you got that, that's dandy. Also, if you join this fandom, like, you get really good inside jokes, like Stripper Dom. So, like, join the fandom. We're really cool. But, like, Thanks for tuning in and drop some cool content or maybe like video suggestions below. I'm really into seeing those because I think they're really cool and I like to go through and like, like your guys' comments and like try and reply back. That's something that as like a smaller YouTuber that's cool to do. And yeah, maybe one day you'll see me on tour but that's not gonna happen <laughs> that was really elongated i tried to do kind of like hobo johnson but like that was not cool but i'll see you next time and here are my socials somewhere on the screen if you like me enough to follow me somewhere bye bye toodles and i'll see you next time